a seat. Sit Woo is right. Honey, I want to know what key that was. Oh, my God. Listen, I'm in the building, but y'all in this building, too. Yeah. And it cannot be missed. Listen, I am loving all the amazing energy y'all have brought me today. Thank y'all so much. Your beautiful energy is... Oh, it's just, I could have danced in it. I'm like, let me just sit in it for a little bit. Now, listen, I don't know if you know, but I love me some animals. Any animal lovers in the house? <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I am one of them. Listen, but you know, some things you can't unsee. <laughs> and I noticed that a lot of folks look like they're animals. I don't know if you know, I got a cat named McCavity, and he ain't got no hair. And guess what? <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> okay? So, <laughs> I say that, but listen, apparently, I'm not the only person who think we look like our animals. Have y'all seen the pictures on the internet where they have people that look like they pets? Yes, well, I found this guy who did, like, a, a portrait photo shoot where he took pictures of people and they pets where they look alike. I'm gonna shut up. Y'all gotta see this. Look at this first one. <laughs> Do y'all not see this? Do I not have a case? You can't unsee that, can you? Okay? Listen, okay. Let's see another one. Here we go. Y'all don't see this? So when you go home, I want you to go look at your pet. And then look at yourself. Uh, uh, let me see another one. Hold the line. <laughs> they even got the hair blowing in a wig. What am I looking at? Wait, but is it a dog or a pony? <laughs> I can't tell. They almost got the same hair color. He got, he got the highlights, though, so he got to step his game up. <laughs> Let's look at another one. <laughs> Yeah, they look alike. They look like they're getting ready to have a cup of tea. Right? <laughs> I love it. Okay, I got one more. I love a picture, too. <laughs> the mustache twins. How cute is that? Okay? <laughs> so I'm not crazy. We all see this? Yeah. Okay, so I have a assignment for you. You go home. If you got pets, look at yourself and look at your pets and see if y'all favor, all right? I need y'all to do that. Listen, okay, now y'all know I had to put myself in the middle of this tip, too. So along with my cat, McCavity, which I already told you about, I got a cat named Grizabella the Glamour Cat. And I got to play Grizabella the Glamour Cat. That's how she got her name, Grizabella the Glamour Cat. And she loves to lay down fabulously and pose around glamorous things. So I decided to put us up here and y'all tell me if who did it better? Come on, pull us up. <laughs> Bam! Two Grizzabellas, the Glamour Cats. Do y'all think, I mean, I think it's the smiles and the eyes. <laughs> but that is Grizzabella, the Glamour Cat, and I think she won that one. <laughs> Those right there, that was a lot of fun, actually. Okay. <laughs> Woo. All right, y'all. Today is an extra special day at the happy place because it's Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> yes. Our first guest has been acting since she was seven years old. She's now starring in two very popular shows, Wednesday and Yellow Jackets. Please. Welcome, Christina Ricci. I'm so excited to meet you. I've always been such a huge fan, and you have the most incredible reputation for just being the loveliest human being, so. Thank you, thank you. I was so excited when I heard I was coming on your show. That is so, so as you can tell, we are all huge fans of yours. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. Like, what, you, people going crazy over yellow jackets and Wednesday, like, the, all I hear <laughs> is that buzz, like, how does that feel? It's, You're part of both. It's great. I mean, I feel like 
I don't know. As an actor, you, on a TV show, you're just hoping that it gets picked up for a second season. Uh -huh. So you don't even think about the magnitude of its success or what it could potentially be. And then for the first season of Yellow Jackets to be so huge was just so surprising, <laughs> really. Wow. I mean, we thought it was good, but you never know if people are going to respond to it. So Yeah. And your mom. Yes. You have two kids? kids? Yeah. How old are they? I have an eight-year-old and a 16-month-old. Congratulations on that. Thanks. Is your baby walking yet? Yeah, she is. Um, yeah, there's, that's Cleo and Freddie and my husband, Mark. Oh. And um, Cleo is running. She uh -huh. runs, she climbs. Um, she, yeah, she's, she's really sweet. She's obsessed with her older brother, too. She chases <laughs> him all over the house. Does he Very like cute. being a big brother? He does. Every once in a while, though, he sort of steps back and watches us with her, and then he'll, be, he'll say, um, Mom, did you give me that much attention when I was her age? <laughs> and I'm like, yes, because if you don't, they die. <laughs> so uh, you're still here, you're still alive, you got that much attention too. <laughs> you know? That's a great answer. Yeah, because they don't remember. Right. So they are jealous, and then you're like, listen, you were glued to me until you were, were four. Yeah, and then yeah. he was the only one yes, at the time. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. he got extra, right? Yeah, In yeah. some capacity. Does your son watch the shows? Well, he's, he watched Wednesday twice. He loved twice. it so much. Um, and uh, then he wanted me to dye his hair black. And he was like, how could I look like a, you know, like a male Wednesday? And I was like, we're not, I, I can't be involved in this. <laughs> I can't. People are going to think I forced you to do this or something <laughs> weird. So no, we'll that dye your hair blue <laughs> or like red character. or something. But it can't be black. It's too serious. Um, and then uh, he came up to visit me. We shoot uh, Yellow Jackets in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And normally I can, and I commute back and forth so that he can stay in school. Mm -hmm. But I've never gone for more than five days. And I had two times when they booked, they, you know, scheduled me for like 10 days. So he came up to visit and he came on set and was like my little assistant on set and loved it, had such an amazing time. But then he, <laughs> then he said to me, he was like, how can I be expected to be on set and work on the show? if uh, work on the show, you know, obviously, <laughs> not working, um, if I've never seen it. And so I, he, he like, bad, he's very good at badgering me. And finally, I was like, okay, fine. You can watch the show. I sat down with him. I fast forwarded all the inappropriate parts. And <laughs> he just is obsessed. And so he knows he has a cool mom. He has told me that I'm cool. He still will not listen to- You get to, that credit. Yes, but not it's not like he'll listen to anything I say. OK. It's not like he obeys me or respects me. He's just like, yeah, all my friends think you're the coolest mom. <laughs> I'm like, all right, great. Will you do what I tell you to? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and, and is he into the bad things that your character does? Yes. He is? He is. He, um, he when I first showed him the original, well, not the original, but the Adam family I was in, mm -hmm. he was obsessed with how naughty my character was. <laughs> just like, oh my God, mom, were you really gonna kill your brother? <laughs> it's a movie, but yeah. Wow. Uh, and you started acting around your son's age. Yeah, when I was seven. So yeah, you're younger than he is now. Oh my God. Uh, is that weird oh, to yeah, think of me. it in that way now? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever tell him that, like, I was your age when I started acting? Yes. Well, if he tells me he can't do something or mm -hmm. he can't pay attention or he just can't behave, I'm like, listen, when I was your age, I was working 12-hour days. You and better get him. <laughs> <laughs> and like, he'll be like, they're not nice to me. The coach yelled at me. And I'm like, do you think everyone was nice to me when I was working at your age? Get him, Mom. That is so, so it still doesn't work, though. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> OK, so you guys are, are enlarging your family. How yes. so? We're getting a kitten. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. This the cat you mean? No, no, but this is my dream cat. Have you heard about these Maine Coons? No, I ain't seen this. They are dog-sized cats. I, I mean, can you imagine how great it would be to cuddle a dog-sized cat? I don't know about and they that, have hold the on. <laughs> big, beautiful, I mean, you'd want to make sure it was a nice cat because it's a so cat cute, that though. size would be dangerous if it was, like, if there was something wrong. But if it was a great cat, look at this cat. So fun. I mean, I'm really into it. My husband was like, we're never getting a Maine Coon. And I was like, well, when you die, I will be, my house will be full of dog-sized cats. I love it. Will you tell me how you do with it? And no, but I'm then, not getting one of these. Do you know what, what kind you're getting? I'm just getting, well, like, a street cat that was, oh. you know. I like, but my, a street, I'm getting a street cat. No, I, uh, like, my, my friend, my friend, 
found some cats and took them in, and it turned out one of them was pregnant. So I'm taking one of those, the kittens from this cat. Cats are the best. They are. Yeah. I've been without a cat for like eight months, and it's been sad. Yeah. Will you stick around for a little bit? Yeah, yeah. All oh. right. Mom with Christina, we'll be right back. Didn't Natalie tell you to go home? Yeah, but it was obviously an act. I mean, if they're really holding her hostage, the first thing they're gonna want her to do is cut ties with all her close friends. That's cult 101. Maybe, maybe Lottie is jealous of what Natalie and I have. I mean, you can't buy that kind of friendship, but you could kidnap it and try to... Murder for it? Excuse me? <laughs> We're back with Christina Ricci. Congratulations. It's been picked up for a season three. Yeah, yeah. Yellow jackets, that's yeah, amazing. Yeah. We're really excited. For those who haven't seen it, can you tell everyone what it's about? Okay, it is basically, it's, it's about, um, we cut between 1996 and the present. Mm -hmm. And in 1996, a girls varsity soccer team from New Jersey went on a private plane to like nationals or some big soccer game meet thing. Mm -hmm. And um, they crashed in the Canadian wilderness. And this is before, you know, the prevalence of cell phones and all kinds of other technology that would have helped find them. Um, and horrible things happened while they were out in the wilderness. And um, it was a bit of like, there's supernatural things going on and it's unclear in the show whether it's in their minds, mm. it's the trauma manifesting or if it's actually really supernaturally influenced. And then so it cuts between that time and then some of the survivors. So it's right now we have six survivors, uh, adults, women, and so it's just all of us older 40 year old ladies and we're all you know affected by the trauma in our past in different ways and and um, very flawed, flawed people. Yeah, we have two new, we have two new survivors for second season, um, Lauren Ambrose and Simone Kessel, who are not pictured there. Great, yeah. great show. It's really fun. <laughs> it is. Now, Elijah Wood is joining yes. the cast. Yeah, so that was Elijah and the Cliff. Yeah, yeah. and you two have worked together before. Yeah, when we were 15. So what is it like A working together ago. now? <laughs> it's fun, I mean, yeah, there we are, 15. <laughs> But you know, we were 15 year olds. So like, we barely spoke to each other. Cause he was like a 15 year old guy and I was a 15 year old girl. And we were just like, mm -hmm. I, I was acting cool, I'm sure. <laughs> um, and so now it's really fun. Cause now we're adults and yeah. co collaborative and he's such an amazing artist and so talented. And all of our scenes are really, um, they're written in a very like pacey way and they're pretty funny. So it's really good, it's really fun. So interesting. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Will you come back and see us? Yes, definitely. I'll Love. bring you a main soon. We're gonna be good together. I promise it's gonna be your fault, okay? Yellow Jackets air Sundays at nine on Showtime. We'll be right back. Here at J-Hub Productions, y'all know we love some surprises. You guys wanna help me right now? Yeah! I love these moments. Here's a fan of the show named Samora, who is on Zoom right here. Right there, y'all see him? He has no idea that we're about to pop up on his screen, okay? <laughs> Y'all ready? All right, let's do it. It's your wife, Nathan. Samora! It's me, Jennifer! <laughs> your energy it's already a basin oh. you surprised I am so surprised <laughs> I'm so surprised tell me something oh. about yourself you're a flight attendant I'm a flight attendant yes I'm a flight attendant I love serving smiles in the aisles um each and every day um but before I do I love watching your show because you give me the energy oh. you give me the energy to and get on those planes and give people the love I Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. And you're giving me the energy and I'm receiving all of it. Oh my God, I love your energy. Do you have a favorite story from being a flight attendant? Yes, I do have a favorite story. Tell oh us. my gosh. I was, I got on the plane and most people will complain, most flight attendants complain about a delay or a flight delay. I was delayed in Kentucky. I was so hungry. 
when I got delayed um, that I decided to go to a grocery store. I bought a um, $2 Powerball ticket um, and I ended up winning the Powerball. And I bought a house. What? I bought a house and I used that blessing to give back to the community that I live in um, in any which way I possibly can, so. That is so sweet. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow, well, congratulations on that. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I think the biggest win though for me is being able to talk to a giant like you because honestly, money is money. And yes, I understand it helps people, but it's people like you that I, I honestly, you're bigger than the Powerball. I that is so really sweet. Do be, you are bigger, and I just, I'm, I'm shaking. When your heart <laughs> seems bigger. So I love your energy. Can you tell me what made you want to write into the Jennifer Hudson show? Jennifer, you, I, I've been a huge fan for the longest time, and um, I just love the people, the communities that you touch every day. Um, and so I wanted to write in because I wanted to have an opportunity to be in a studio audience sitting next to you, but also with the audience members that you bring to your show. Um, they are also the like, they are also the energy. We can make it. I'm going to get that. I want to connect to complete strangers who you bring to your show every day, and I want to be recharged, and I want to take that energy and continue to push it out into the world because we need more people like you in the world, and I, we need more of the people in your audience in the world to spread the light because it's really dark. I was just trying to tell them that. Your yes. energy. And your energy is amazing. I got so many things to say to you, child. You know, first of all, I just want to say your energy will fit right in here, okay? It is so amazing. Take it from the, the president of J-Hud Productions. You are Team J-Hud material <laughs> all day long, baby. Ah. Okay, and also, thank you. Oh, oh my God. You about to take me out. Listen, thank you for being such a positive light in the friendly skies. It is amazing. It is beautiful. Thank you for your work and everything you do and for just trying to make the world a brighter place. You know what I mean? It's, people are so yeah. easy to be hard. But when we take the time just to be kind or to smile at somebody to make a difference in that day, that is golden. So I want to say thank you and all y'all yeah. for that. Thank you. But also, I know you fly around blessing everybody with your beautiful light, but can we fly you to Los Angeles so you can come and light us up here at the Jennifer Hudson Show? We... Samara, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Come on, see about us. I love you, babe. I love you. I freaking love you. I love you back. Oh and I'm gonna see you soon, okay? Yes. We'll be right back. <laughs> I am looking forward to this. Our next guest is an executive producer, co-writer, and star of the Emmy-nominated series, Miss Pat Show. Give it up. Mm-hmm. For the hilarious Miss Pat. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. Beautiful studio. You like it? Uh-huh, and I'm a fan. I voted for you 100 million times you on did. American Idol. Oh, my God. But you hear that all the time, don't you? Because I hear the same thing but you don't owe me nothing. Thank you for having me. I did not see that coming. <laughs> Miss Pat, tell me, how did you first get into comedy? So I got into comedy because um, I had two kids by a married man by the time I was 15, got shot a couple times, trafficked some cocaine, became a convicted felon, and realized I couldn't get a job. The only thing that allowed me to get a job and make money without a criminal background history is comedy. <laughs> <laughs> So my case, my caseworker told me I should be a comedian. And I was like, you're crazy. And I tried it and I was like, I love it. <laughs> oh, ha, I love this. <laughs> Honey, ain't ready for none of these answers. Bear with me. Oh my God. So you're originally from the South. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. I love it. I do, love being from the South. Do you like coming to LA? No, I don't like coming to LA. <laughs> I don't like to hear the traffic bad. 
They take you out of dinner, but they don't eat their food. And then when you ask for a to-go tray, they look at you like something wrong with you. <laughs> but I'm like, you just spent $60 on this meal. I got some people back at the hotel to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> me and whoever I got at the hotel with me, so I, I don't like L.A. It's too lettuce eating, watching... Uh, everybody healthy. I need somebody who eat a pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> that whole two rows back there. That's them pork chop. Pork chop? <laughs> <laughs> I like people who stick their fingers. <laughs> who what? S diabetes. Stick their... <laughs> Thank you, girlfriend. <laughs> Jennifer, like, what? Yeah, I'm like, that. what part of eating is sticking the fingers? <laughs> so, baby, that pork chop will run that sugar up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what you're about to say with this. <laughs> okay, so, Ms. Matt, you're building a, a house in Atlanta? I am. I'm building, um, I already own a house, but I moved back from Indianapolis. Uh -huh. I was there 15 years. So. <laughs> I wanted a mansion, but I didn't want to pay the note because you never know when they're going to say they don't need you no more on TV. So I bought seven acres, and oh. I knocked down a house, and I uh, built a uh, 17,000-square-foot house on it. All by myself, I'm the general contractor, mean Google TikTok. That's, yeah? I did it. I'm, the house is up. I'm getting ready to go through my inspection to put the walls up, and my husband thought I was crazy. He was like, you're not going to hire a general contractor? I was like, they want 20%. I can go to TikTok. It's free. <laughs> you better be thinking. <laughs> I'm not bad at you. So I hire these contractors and they come up. I was like, TikTok said, you got to do it like this. <laughs> 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 and they hate me, but my house is up. It's up. It's up and I pay for it and I'm excited. I love <laughs> DIY. I love knocking down walls. It's nothing like being able to take your wigs off and show your corn rolls <laughs> with your little edges thin and paint a wall. <laughs> That's what I love to do. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try this one. So you've been married for 30 years? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Uh, uh, marriage is getting better with time? Uh, no, it's boring as hell. <laughs> I, I tell my husband, I say, you know you should go out and have an affair so we can fight. <laughs> 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 he's retired now. I wouldn't trade him for the world, but he's very boring, so. He's boring? Yeah, very boring. Oh, my God. Okay. I mean, I mean, marriages work. You know, you don't come home to the same person that you married 20 years ago. They get a little baller. They get a little slower. They, he listens to the TV really loud. <laughs> I don't know why old black men listen to the TV on 99. <laughs> So I called my friend. I was like, he, I think he's going deaf. She said, girl, mine is too. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I wouldn't trade him for the world, but he's boring as hell. <laughs> I love you. Okay, you're on tour. Tell me, what's your favorite part about it? Being on tour? Mm -hmm. uh, going on tour and coming home and acting like I miss my... I mean, I'm coming home and missing my... <laughs> Can y'all edit that? <laughs> <laughs> Coming home and missing my husband. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm gone for a weekend, a week sometime, two, three weeks, and I, I get really excited. I'm like, whoa, you still here. <laughs> you can laugh. I told him I was going to talk about him on the J-Hub show today. <laughs> Listen, uh, will you stick around a little bit longer, Miss Pat? Because we love you so much. Thank you. Tell her she pretty. What? Tell her she pretty. <laughs> you. We're back with Miss Pat. Miss <laughs> Pat. Yes. I heard you want to sing me something. Well, yeah, I will sing you something. You ready? I'm so ready. Oh my life. I waited for someone like you all my life. Yes! <laughs> Come on. Jennifer clapping like she white. She don't know where to be at. 
<laughs> Listen. Me neither. <laughs> I, I sing that song every day on set, and they be like, I hate you, Miss Pat. But they know I'm tired when I sing that. All my life. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Yeah. That's the same song? song? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would have never identified that. <laughs> Talk about clap old beat girl. You didn't what? know that was that song. One more time, Miss Pat. Sing it for me. All my life. I waited for someone like you. <laughs> Somewhere in this program, <laughs> girl, you took me out for real. <laughs> I love you for that. But you know what? It's about the spirit. And here at the Happy Place, we celebrate everything. Yes. And I love that. Thank you for that song. Did you want to? You got another verse, Mama Pat? No, that's the only. That's it. I that's know. all I get. Yeah, I love yeah. you for that. <laughs> I love you for that. Okay. Ooh. I started singing because I'm a comedian and everybody thinks because I'm a plus size black woman. They just swear <laughs> I can cook and they swear I can sing. And I'm like, I don't do either. I'm a comedian. They be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, ain't nothing coming up out of this chest but sweat from hot flashes. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell everyone about the Mids Pat show and it being based off of your life? We love you and we love this show. Thank you. Um, it was Emmy nominated last year, too. BT and BT Club first ever Emmy nomination. It's based off of my life. I just came to Hollywood and somebody heard me on a podcast and say, I think you have a story and it's all based off of my life. I'm, a, I'm the mom that I think that Hollywood has always shied away from, who talks real, who say what she has to say, curse, and I'm that mama come to the football field and push your child down. <laughs> well, and I just tell people, I'm not Claire Huxable. I do it the, the, I do it the original way. <laughs> and they finally put a mama like me on TV. And people <laughs> loves it. Finally, something different, you know, because they want to always make the mama perfect. Well, I'm a mother on TV. I'm a convicted felon. Mm -hmm. I had two kids by a married man, like in the show. By the time I was 15, I dropped out of school. Everything my life was, I put it on string. And with the Black Hat episode, that came out of my life also. Mm -hmm. So each episode, you know, represent what I've been through. And it also touches so many people out there from the letters, the emails that I get all the time. Women say, thank you for telling my story. And that's why I chose the black hair episode, because how many times as little black girls, when our mother said the wrong thing, when we sitting in between their legs, you know, set your nappy head behind down. Well, that really hurt, because mm. as black women, we started to cover our hair because we thought society didn't want to see our hair. But now we're beginning to, you know, let it go. Now, wigs are for convenience, not because we're ashamed of what, uh, what's up under it. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I took my wig off on national TV to let you know, I got beautiful black curly hair up under there and I'm no longer ashamed because I'm not that nappy head kid my mama told me I once was. Mm. And you know, we have to be careful what you say to your kids because they really hurt. Now don't get me wrong, I cuss my kids out. <laughs> <laughs> but I do apologize a couple days later. <laughs> so, so that's why I did the black hair episode to let them know that, you know, it's as a little black girl, you have to really watch what you say when it comes down to our hair. Because for so long, society, you know, black women couldn't even go to work with natural hair. And now we just letting it flow and it's beautiful. And that's, I just wanted to, people to know. We, You're making beautiful. a huge difference. Yeah. It's so necessary and we love you so much. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing the way you only, you can do it. I can't do it no other way. I got a GED. <laughs> that is that. When you come back and see us. I sure will. We love having you so much. Thank you. Oh, my God. Miss Pat is on tour, so make sure you go check her out. And Miss Pat Show is streaming now on BET+. Plus. We'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.